I believe our very lives are a matter of stewardship. The way that we use what we have matters to the one who made us. He intended for us to manage this life and all that comes with it. This is a podcast to connect the dots of all the ways we manage the substance of our lives, from heart work to housework, from relationships to identity, from purpose to desires, wellness, creativity, and everything that makes up our lives. This is a sisterhood centered on Christ. On this podcast, I'll be sharing thoughts and transparent talks on what God is teaching me as I wear these different hats and manage various things just like you do, only differently in my own style for his glory. Listen in. You are listening to episode 42 of the Style and Stewardship Podcast. Happy New Year. It is 2022 if you are listening to this then or if you're listening to this sometime in the future. Um, We are at the very beginning of January. It's January 4th, actually, and this podcast will be going out January 5th. Um, I actually had to wait to record this one because my voice was doing weird things and I got sick. And um, anyways, it was a I don't want to sound like I swallowed a complete frog, (laughs) so I had to wait until it sounded a bit clearer. So here we are now. I hope you are doing well. Um, And I just wanted to talk about something that we all know it comes up every single year without fail, and that is New Year's resolutions. And I just wanted to say if you have them, you have them. If you don't, you don't. It's kind of one of those things where you know, I feel like people either love it or they hate it. I'm kind of the, of the mindset that I don't really have a new year's resolution, but every day there are certain things that I want to do better. I think that there's nothing wrong with having new, new year's resolutions as long as they're not like your resolution, just like any goal or anything else does not become, I'm using air quotes, quote unquote, God, you know, um, take the place of what he would have you do, you know, over and above what we would want to do, that our desires, you know, line up with what he's calling us to do with our unique lives. So one of the things that I did want to say was that the greatest goal that you can have, I truly believe this, and this is true for me, the greatest goal that you can possibly have year after year, but more so day after day, is stewarding. And it is stewarding what God has given you on purpose. And literally, I just feel like, you know, stewardship is is, is a daily decision. <laughs> um, I'm trying not to get too hyped, but it's a daily decision, you know, to manage what God has given us and to do that on purpose, to do that with diligence. You know, scripture tells us whatever we do, whether we eat or drink, whatever we do, that we do to the glory of God, that we do that with care, you know, like we actually mean it (laughs) you know we do it with heart we do it with love and we do it through obedience and I think that it's so important that we focus not so much on one particular goal that's just this you know this finite thing but focusing on things that are going to last and I truly believe that anything that we do for God will last um scripture talks about that and I you know what what better goal to have than trying to do everything to the glory of God. Like literally, seriously, like what better goal is there to have? Every single thing that God has given you, he has entrusted to you for a time. He has entrusted to me for a time. And it is, man, stewardship to me is so sobering because every time I think something's about me or I get caught up in trying to you know, force things a certain way or have them turn out a certain way or get irritated if they don't turn out a certain way or try to run ahead of God and do things the way I think God would want to do them as if God needs my help with anything. No, um, <laughs> he doesn't need my my help. Um, you know, maybe he, maybe my, my obedience, you know, I need that. Like I need to be obedient to God. But anyways, I'm gonna go off on a tangent. I'm trying to calm it down a little bit because I don't have that much energy. I just thought, you know, what does, what does stewardship look like for you? You know, and, and I speak about this and everything is based around this. And, and this is a, a vantage point. Um, this is a perspective. This is a way of doing something. And all of every single episode, I'm, I'm going to be talking through what that looks like in different areas of our lives. And I just thought, what better way to help you along with your stewardship journey 
daily practice of trying to manage the things that God's given you well to his glory is to get in your life. I know that sounds crazy, but get in your life. And this was something that God had laid on my heart, you know, earlier last year. I say last year, like it was so long ago, but earlier last year, and it was get in your life. And, and what that means is, you know, we can look at so many different things and we can look at how everybody else is doing what they are doing, but you have your unique life, your one and only beautiful life that God has given you. And I truly think that if you get inside your own life and start practicing stewardship with the things that you've been given, you are going to see how beautiful your life actually is. And does this mean that your life is perfect? No, um, no one's life is, is perfect here, right? But the the life that was meant for you, being able to live in that life and experience joy in that life. And, and I truly believe that a lot of, one of the biggest, one of the biggest, um, issues to me against you stewarding your life well is looking at everybody else's you can't do what god has you do in your unique life trying to do what everyone else is doing or trying to do what you think you should be doing um or trying to to do what you feel you know you can do better than the next person or what have you there's no competition in stewardship like this is I feel like it is one of the most sobering things because it has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with me. It's all in how we do what we what we do and, and how we manage that. And that has way more to do with who actually owns it than who is going to stand outside and, and, and watch it and look at it. You know what I mean? And one of the, the, the problems I, I have with, you know, goals like taking on a life of their own is because goals can take on a life of their own. But when we make stewardship the goal and in focusing on what God would have us do, we don't have time to look around at what everyone else is doing, nor do we have time to, you know, um, you know, kind of go back and forth about what we should be doing because what's in your hands is what you are actually called to manage. The things that God has given you are the things that he has called you to manage. He has not told you to go into anybody else's house and manage that. He told you to manage your own house. And I just wanted to encourage you with that. And one of the things that I'm going to be doing a bit more of um, is just adding more blog posts and different things that I feel are going to be an encouragement to you and help you to steward your own unique life. One of the things that I did recently was create a, so I created a work, a workbook for you. And it is literally questions to have you look at your life, get inside your life and actually start to look at all the different areas that you have relationship, whether it's your relationships, whether it is your finances, whether it is your, your walk with, with God, um, it literally helps you to get it all on paper. I'm a, I'm a paper person, so get it all on paper so that you can look through the different aspects of your life and how you are managing each and every area. This isn't about, you know, you taking this out, filling this out so you can, you know, feel condemned because there are areas that you're, you're struggling in. We, we all have areas that we are struggling in. Um, and if we didn't struggle with anything, we wouldn't need prayer. We wouldn't have needed Jesus. Like we need Jesus daily. (laughs) Um, I, I need, I need him daily. So this gives you just, just really, really simple questions of what you're stewarding. And then an area where you can literally write down the, the, The places in your life where you're like, "Uh, I need actually a little more, you know, um, clarity or direction or I need to do this better or I need to be more diligent. What have you? It's an area where you can write down your prayers, areas that you would you would actually take to God in prayer that you need. Because here's the thing. We can't manage what God has given us without God. Cannot manage what God has given us to manage without him. Not in any way that's going to be pleasing to him. So this workbook is called Steward on Purpose. It's totally free. I'm going to put the link in the show notes or you can go to my blog. And if you scroll down on the front page, it's 
um, you, you can't miss it. It's blue or you can just um, just sign up for their newsletter and it it'll automatically send you one after you confirm your email. So if you are interested in that, if you're interested in stewarding well on a daily basis and going into this year and the years beyond on how you can manage everything that God has given you to his glory then this workbook will be perfect for you. It's totally free. You can grab it on my website or you can grab it at the link in the show notes. Um, And as always, you know, I always say, you know, your life matters. I say that because it does. (laughs) Um, What you do with it matters. I say that because it absolutely does to the one who made you. And when I say, when I ask you, what will you steward well? It's because it is a daily decision. It is something that you decide every day what you're going to steward well. So until next time, your life matters. What you do with it matters. So what will you steward well?